first year with a with a team. 2017 was an um, interesting start to the year. I signed with the team in like mid-January, suddenly when Nico decided to retire. So I got the opportunity to join Mercedes and this was the first car. It was really busy pre-season, trying to get prepared as, as well as I could for, for the first season with the team and immediately I knew it is, is a great opportunity to win races and fight for the championship. Only I think in my second or third race with the team, I got my first ever pole position in Formula 1 in Bahrain. And then the next race in Russia, I got my first win. I think I got a few wins that year. Also in Abu Dhabi, I remember doing donuts with Lewis in Abu Dhabi post-race. That was pretty cool. Nice car, not always easy to, to set up, but yeah, good memories. Especially my first win in, in Russia. That was something pretty unique. Yeah, quite, quite a year. Yes! Brilliant! Well done! <laughs> me. Uh. It take a bit of a while, but well done. Immense pressure, well Worth done, mate. the wait. Thanks so much, for making this possible. When I remember my first win or uh, any moments, it, it is like yesterday, so... It's a bit weird, but that's how it is. I got obviously introduced to all the partners of, of the team and um, especially Petronas um, was a big part of, of the team and, and still is. Uh, went to KL a couple of times and I, I did this cool orchid run and ride. So I ran, it was a bit too early for me, it was like 6 a.m. start, but uh, I did the charity run and actually I won it. I don't know if it was a race, but I went full gas and I was first, so yeah, good memories with, with, the, with the team and all the people from Petronas. Okay, punch up right rear. Oh my god. It just blew up on its own. F***ing mid-12, diff mid-12. That was the pack puncture for sure. <laughs> I remember, because diff mid-12 means you need to lock the diff so you don't destroy, you know, the diff or, or the gearbox. So. You know, you could hear Finns have emotions as well. 2018, I'm being very honest, it was not my favorite car. <laughs> I struggled a bit that, that season. Obviously, I had some strong uh, races and I remember well, very well in, in Baku. I was leading the race, like one lap to go. Had a puncture on the main straight. Uh, I should have won that race. There was many other unlucky events as well that, that, that year, but um, I think overall I was pretty quick, but never nailed the, the, the whole race weekend and never had a win win that year, but plenty of podiums, so still, you know, good success in, in a way, and as, as a team we secured the title in, in Brazil, obviously as a team really successful season. This season really made me a lot, lot tougher, you know, as a, as a person, as a, as a driver, and I really had to dig quite deep during the, the, the winter break to find more about myself for the next year, 2019. It started pretty well, so uh, yeah, I think it was an important season in my, in my career to learn. Well done, Valtteri! You won the 2019 Australian Grand Prix. Great job, bravo. How about that? Yeah! Thank you, guys. Oof. Well, that's payback from last year, Valtteri. Indeed. To whom it may concern, F you. Valtteri, no, this, this is a rebound. Congrats, Toto. Yeah, top job, Valtteri. Very well done. Classic. So, after the tough end of 2018, 2019 started with a bang. <laughs> Big win in Australia. I think it was about 20 seconds um, ahead of Lewis on, on, on the flag. I think it was my, my best race to this date. I would say it just it, it wasn't easy, but it, it almost felt easy. You know, I was so in, in control, and uh, just the whole whole mindset of um, you know from this disappointment to coming back up strong. It was really amazing feeling, you know, to experience that, and and really it gave me a lot of confidence to go ahead uh, this season. In the end, I, I finished second in the in the drivers' championship. We did secure the, the title in Suzuka already as, as a team. 
I think I won in Baku. That was a revenge from previous year and in Japan and in USA. So pretty sweet places to win races. And uh, I remember those like, yeah, like yesterday. All of those, those wins were amazing. And we had some pretty good wheel-to-wheel -wheel action with Lewis in Silverstone as well, battling for, for the lead. And this livery, I really, really enjoyed it. To me, it's, it's so nice, those small stars. And obviously, with the sad thing with uh, Nikki leaving us behind, in a way, but um, we decided to keep the red star, which is really, really important thing for us as a team and for me as a, as a person to, to have it. End of the year in Abu Dhabi, I finished the, the, the season with the race starting from last, coming up to fourth. For some reason, the DRS didn't work and the, the FIA system didn't work, so I didn't even have DRS for most of the race. Uh, I still managed to get to fourth, so it was quite a strong way to end the season. And uh, straight up after that, went to Malaysia, uh, seeing all the people at Petronas, kind of celebrating uh, what we achieved together in, in that year, which was obviously a big, big achievement again as a, as a team and uh, really enjoyed those moments. And it was the last car before COVID. <laughs> so uh, everything changed after this. And the six, first win of the season under your belt. So pick up a rubber where you can. <laughs> yes! Thank you guys. Really strong start to the season. Then we go to the first black livery with the team in 2020. Obviously sending a very strong message to the whole world of um, an important topic, which I'm, I'm really proud of the team doing that. The season almost started in Australia. Went there, uh, pr so prepared for the season, so ready to go. And then COVID happened and uh, it didn't start. It, it, it was delayed by a few months. The season only started, I think, in July. So I had a few extra months to try and, you know, keep busy, <laughs> be, be even better prepared physically and mentally, um, which for me worked. I won the first race of the season. I probably didn't get as many wins I, I wanted. It started well, but um, it was really close, always so close. And Lewis had the upper hand. But as a team, we won the title. Again, I was second in the Drivers' Championship. As a team, strong year. And this car in particular, for me, it was a monster. It was so, so quick. Nothing beats this car in terms of the, the pure performance. We had all the names of every single team member uh, in the last race in, in Abu Dhabi, which is quite nice. We also had this year, um, for the first, first time, uh, Stephanie and Andy joining us um, trackside as a Petronas trackside engineers, uh, which was really, really helpful. And uh, they're still obviously working for us. So that was a good, good step forward. Yeah, beautiful car and good car to drive. And by winning the Constructors again as a team, it was the seventh title in a row for us uh, as, a, as a team you know, making history really. So amazing performance by the team and yeah, amazing um, achievement really. So um, yeah, making history with this one. Not bad, good car, enjoyed it. Yes mate, get in there! Yes! <laughs> yeah! I think again it's a nice moment to thank my critics to whom it may concern. F you. Never give up. It's, it's always nice to hear the, the emotion, you know. It, it just comes purely from, from inside, uh, you know, as I say and as I, as you can hear, you know, there's, there is emotion obviously, so yeah, it's nice. And the latest car, 2021, is not that different from the previous year. There was a small regulation change, which made things a bit more tricky, especially at the, at the back of the car. The, the behavior of the rear end became a bit more tricky, I would say. So sometimes we've had a bit of a trouble of setting up the car. Overall, 
it's been pretty epic fight, especially with, with Red Bull. What I remember from, from this car, uh, the highlights I would say from, from this year is, you know, some pole positions I had, but then my race in Monza, being on pole, winning the sprint race, starting from the back because of an engine penalty, and then ending up on, on the podium. That was an amazing race, and then Turkey starting from pole position and then winning the race with quite a big gap through Max. That was really, and in tricky conditions, I would say one of my best races ever. And obviously it's going to be the last Mercedes car that I'll be driving. So for sure we'll be, we'll be missing, missing this car. So many different cars. You know, I can't, <laughs> can't believe I've driven all of these. And there's so many special memories with, with each one. So it's nice sometimes to remember the old days. You know, the, Good old days.